welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. Oh, today are those final little things that you're going to shove in your suitcase that you're like going, I think I've got it all. I've got elegant wear. I've got some casual wear. I throw in a swimsuit. I've got my shoes. Now it's like for those little things that we tend to forget sometimes. And so we're going to talk about those. So first thing that I tend to forget is uh, pajamas. And so <laughs> I have no idea why this happens to me. I don't even know what I'm thinking. But I tend to forget pajamas. And recently I was on the Kohl's website, uh, maybe three, two, three months ago. And I noticed that they had pajamas that were for petite, so short. And I was able to pick up some pajamas that actually aren't dragging down behind me on my legs. It's just so awful to have, be able to buy a pair of pajamas and then not have to hem them. So, and so that's why I tend to go with like, um, uh, night gowns or something like that, or even a long tank top because I tend to not be able to find things like that. And I want them, but they're just so long. So I was able to order, um, I got three different ones. And so the one that I think uh, would be really, really nice, uh, because I think you could actually, like if you caught up and it's a sea day, and it was a chilly sea day, instead of grabbing, you know, your sweats or something like that, um, I could actually wear these. So they're like long plaid pants, and I'm going to insert a picture at some point here. Of, I wore these at Christmas, and so I told my kids, I said, hey, I'm coming, and but I'm wearing my pajamas. But I had these on, and so there were these plaid pants, and then this nice little shirt, and then I wore... Um, next week you're going to see my jewelry stuff, but I had a really pretty statement necklace on, but you're going to see that in that picture right there. And I just thought it was so cute. And I put on a long sweater, a black sweater, and I'm going to show that to you in a minute. And I just thought that was the cutest little outfit. And I thought I could actually get away with wearing this like up to like the buffet, you know, to grab some breakfast or hot tea or, you know, to do a casual walk around the deck. And it's still all covering. It wasn't see-through at all. So that's what made it really, really nice. And they're really thick. So if, um, and I tend to be cold, so these, this is perfect. But if I wanted to wear something that was a little bit lighter but still covered, um, you don't ever want to have your room stirred walk in on you. Um, so there's, I found this at Target. So it's just a nice little button-up pajama top. But I had shorts instead. So I like that. I like the shorts. And so I'm, I'm considering going back and getting a pair in the, in the gray. I think there's like a dark gray. And I thought, oh, that would be, you know, nice. And they're, they're really, really soft. Really soft and light to sleep in. So these would be really comfortable and nice to wear and not have to worry about your shoe walking in and seeing you. <laughs> A couple other things I like to bring is, of course, depending on where you go, you never know, but I am typically cold, and sometimes it gets very chilly on the deck at night, and I like to go out late, late at night, I'm talking like midnight, one o'clock, and go walk around the top deck and stuff, so it's typically kind of windy sometimes, um, it just depends on the time of year, okay? Middle of summer, probably not, but in some of the winter months, you're going to maybe get a little bit cooler air, so you'll want to take like a little bit of a sweater. So this is a very thin sweater. I don't know if you can see, you can literally see through it. But it's very, very, um, it's just enough coverage. You could put this over, like I put it over my little formal dress and worn it because it um, provides us a little more coverage. Um, if you have bare shoulders with something, you could put it over, but it's, it, it, the color is neutral. It's just this navy blue. And with my clothes, it's very neutral. So it works with almost anything. So I like it. It's a little bit longer. So it'll cover a little bit more. And in the front, I have actually used this little part right here. And I can actually tie it in the front with like a white tank top. And I can actually use this, like even just to go ashore real quick to do some shopping. So like find a little cooler thing. There's that. 
Um, another one, this one's a little bit heavier. And this is my black sweater. And that, I don't know if it was in the picture or not. I won't know you. <laughs> I don't remember. But um, this is a nice little black sweater. Who sold it? Dress barn. Sorry. It has these little furry little cuffs. And I don't know why, but <laughs> it fits me. <laughs> Normally this stuff, the arms are too long. The... It's, I don't know, dragging on the floor, but for some reason it fits me very, very well. And um, this was a great one to take. I, we took the, I took this one in December with the family cruise, and I think I wore it every day because it was cold. And so this is great, and it's very thick. It's nice and thick, so it's a good sweater to take. So there's that. So that's kind of like chilly nights. You know, a little bit on the chillier side, just to put a little bit of coverage on you. Those are a little bit lighter sweaters. Like, you have a light one, and then like a medium one. And then, of course, you know, you could always take a jacket or something. But now we're talking like winter, Alaska, cold areas, <laughs> snow, <laughs> which I'm not a fan of, um, is more like a big down jacket. Now, this is long. So, let me see. <laughs> It's long. How do you know? It's like, okay, so for me, it goes down to my knees. So it's perfect. So this is the one I picked up uh, last year. And uh, I picked it up almost about this time before I went to Reno for a uh, work conference. And uh, again, I will say again, you'll probably hear this in a couple videos, but I just am not a fan of snow. And so I was really worried. And if you see with the shoes, I bought those big heavy shoes and I wore them every day pretty much. And this jacket, blessing, blessing. And I've worn it here too in where I live. It gets down to, most people are going to say that's not that cold, but it was like 35 degrees and I'm freezing. It's like ice to me. Um, constantly on my shoulders and stuff. So this jacket has come in handy. My boss is from, I think, Pennsylvania? Somewhere back east? Anyway. And I had this on and my boots and a, a beanie. And he's like, what's wrong with you? And I go, I'm cold. It's cold. He goes, no, not that cold. I was like, for me, this is cold. <laughs> So, anyway, so this would be like a big jacket I would take, and it's definitely going um, on <laughs> in a couple weeks to Chicago. Okay, so another one of those odd and in items that I take, I don't know if you would take, but I take, is a hat. So in the last cruise I took the carnival, just this little carnival hat. You can usually find these with a hat and a t-shirt in a deal in the fun shops. So, and I don't remember how much, maybe 20 bucks. Um, but I got the hat, and I love it and it's really nice and then picked up this one in Hawaii it's pretty worn out now and he's a he's a good cleaning I also have this little hat that I've worn yeah <laughs> I called it a you can find me hat because it's nice and bright <laughs> but I have this hat too and it's super comfy to wear so I like it okay so that's that those are kind of those little odds and ends then of course you need your socks. I typically bring um, at least three pairs. I, I really haven't needed more than that. I Three pairs. Unless you know you're going to go on multiple excursions where you're going to wear your tennis shoes a lot, then you want to maybe bring a pair or two more, but I typically bring three and I'm usually good to go. Um, yeah, I haven't had a big issue with that. Don't wear shoes, tennis shoes that much during some of my cruises. So if I take my boots and of course going on colder weather, obviously I'm going to bring more pairs of socks. I'll probably bring one per day because, and it'll probably be like more longer socks and stuff like that, not just little short booty socks. So another thing you're going to want to think of is your undergarments. So with uh, bras, um, look at the clothes you're going to bring and try to make some that do double duty. If you have a bra that has removable, removable straps for like um, off the shoulders, dresses or, you know, these kind of dresses, 
um, then try to bring a bra like that. That way you're not bringing too many bras. You're bringing like a strapless bra and then you put the straps on, you got straps. Um, try to do that. And that way you'll minimize what you're packing. I typically bring the one I'm wearing and one in my bag and that's it. I don't bring any more than that. I don't need to. It is what it is. Then for the last item is your underwear. I typically bring one per day for up to seven days. If I'm going beyond seven days, I still only bring seven pairs and then I will wash them by hand. I won't bring beyond that. Um, I've heard some people bring less and they will wash them in, you know, but I figured I'm not going to burden myself with washing and waiting for them to dry. Um, I probably could bring five and then wash them out, but I'm like seven, that's good. And then sometimes even if I know I haven't used a pair of my swimsuit bottoms, I will actually like use those as well. <laughs> or underwear. Uh, get away with that. So I so that's typically what I do. I know I, yeah I, it, that all varies between different people. I don't know how, but I change mine at home every day. So I'm assuming I'm gonna change them anywhere I go every day. But that's typically what I'll do is I'll bring the seven, and then if I'm gone longer than seven days, they will get washed. So I'll usually wash them like on the sixth day. That way they at least have 24 to 48 hours to dry in between. I typically bring some that are a little bit thinner that dry a little faster. I don't know if that makes sense, but sometimes heavy cotton ones don't dry as fast. So I try to bring some that are materials where they'll dry a little bit faster. So that kind of helps too. And always remember like in the shower they have the little line where you can just hang them on there and stuff. So yeah. And um, I think that is it for those other items. If you have any other items that you bring, other than like tech gear, cruise gear, stuff like that, please leave a comment below. And if you have any questions, also leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe. Take care, and have a great day.